guys, how are you? It's Melanie. Okay, so today is Friday. I had my surgery on Monday, so that's Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. So I guess this is like the third or fourth day, right, Tiff? Something like that. Third or fourth day, I had my surgery. Monday, got out at, let's see, got out of the hospital at around maybe 8.30. And today is Friday. I am doing extremely well, guys, despite all the videos that I have previously posted and you guys got freaked out by the blood. I'm sorry if you did. Um, I am doing very, very well. Um, this surgery, I mean, despite all the, that I have done, I am recovering excellent. Excellent. I am walking. I am talking. I am standing. Um, I'm actually, right now, I'm, I'm bended on my knees because you, you guys know that I can't sit on my butt because, well, for seven days, because I had the um, Brazilian butt lift, so that's been kind of hard to manage, but I have to say mostly that I guess with my results and me, like, recuperating so fast, I think it has a lot to do with the prayers, guys, I really do, and I want to thank each and every one of you because, I mean, it has been so painless that I cannot even believe it. I really, really cannot believe it. Um, I thought that I was going to be in pain for like a whole week, but I, I've been pretty much painless throughout. The only thing that has bothered me um, is sleeping on my side, because again, I can't sit on, you know, I can't sit flat on my uh, back, or I can't sit on, in the front. So I've been having, like I've said before, I've been having like a lot of shoulder pain, and it's been very uncomfortable sleeping. Um, I've been getting headaches, you know, because if you sleep on the side or your blood goes to one side of your head, so you get headaches. So that's the only thing that's really been bothering me. Um, for the first two days, um, I did get a lot of dizzy spells. I did, I couldn't stand up more than three minutes <laughs> without actually almost falling. I mean, there was one point where I did faint, and it's because I stand, I, I, I stood up for more than three minutes and I got in the shower. And I guess, you know, the nurse, she, like, from the water, she already, like, I guess put it too hot or something, so I just, like, passed out, and that was for a minute. Yes, she did catch me, <laughs> and, um, I did wake up. Um, all I remember is her calling my name, and that was actually the first time that I actually fainted in my life, so. Um, other than that, I went to the mall yesterday. I ate food. Um, I've been doing great. I mean... The, even the guy downstairs, um, he was like, wow, I mean, you're doing excellent because there's other people that come here for surgery and they don't want to get out of bed. <laughs> so he was surprised to see me compared to the other people that have minor surgeries, like they just do their nose or their breast and stuff like that. And I had like, what, five things done to me and I'm up and about. So I'm doing really good. Um, what I've been having um, is this thing, what is it called? Let's see. It's post-surgery and it's required. It's called um, lymphatic system fi filtering process. And what that is, that's a, uh, that's a massage. And it's very good, but kind of disgusting at the same time. <laughs> um, I have um, this girl and she comes to me every morning, um, it's starting yesterday. She comes around 9 o'clock a.m. and she gives me massages for about an hour and 10 minutes. And it first starts with that thing, um, it's mostly used, Tiffany, what's that thing called? It's like, uh, what they use on the babies, um, the, it's like the ultrasound they use, you know, and with the gel and stuff. So she does that all over my body, and I guess that's just to get, like, the blood circulating and stuff. And they said that it helps, like, reduce the scarring and the, um, and, and just reduce the formation and improves skin regeneration and proper wound healing and that it reduces 30 to 50 percent in comparison with non-treated uh, cases. So this is supposed to be very good. So after she does that, she then she goes and massages. Oh my god, that has to be like the most uncomfortable feeling. And I got like so disgusted by it yesterday. I was like practically dizzy and I wasn't passed out. I was just freaked out. Because what she does is um, she starts massaging and she drains out everything like she tries to like drain out everything so all you see is like more blood and more blood and more blood like she literally 
like uh, it's basically done to drain everything you have inside of you out so that way everything comes out good and everything comes out flat so I think the most like disgusting part is like when she does like the breast area and she's like squeezing everything out and I'm like and I'm hearing everything come out and I'm like oh you know and like when she does like the back so those are the two things I get freaked out about I don't like it <laughs> Um, but it's very good post-operative. Um, so I'm supposed to do that every day um, since, this, I guess, until Friday when I leave. And it's supposed to be very, very good. And um, what am I sick about? Sick of the blood, guys. I am sick of freaking draining blood. I mean, blood everywhere. Blood in the bed, blood in the bathroom, blood when I go to, you know, to go pee or whatever, I'm sick of draining, and I'm like so tired of it. She told she told me that that's gonna last about eight days, but I'm just like so ready for it to be done with. Um, so other than that, <laughs> other than seeing blood all the damn time, and I guess that that's part of the reason why I, like I get dizzy most of the times because I can't see much blood. So um, that has a lot to do with me getting dizzy. Um, so other than that, I am doing great. <laughs> Um, oh, one more thing. Um, since I'm already in Colombia, I booked an appointment actually for tomorrow, Saturday, um, to actually go and check out this laser eye surgery. It's cheaper than the U.S., so I might as well take advantage. And if I like the price, I'm going to go ahead and do it. So I have an appointment to see the doctor tomorrow, and we're going to discuss pricing and stuff like that. It's a free consultation. And then hopefully, if funds are good, I'll probably do it Monday and Tuesday. Monday or Tuesday, one of those two. Um, we're getting down the money down packed. We're feeling more comfortable. And like I said, I am doing great. And I really, really want to thank each and every one of you because I really do think that it was the prayers and like everybody so concerned about my progress. I really, it's, I mean, to tell you the truth, this was actually easier than the lap band. Despite all the blood you guys saw, yes, I did lose a lot of blood. But, it was kind of easier pain-wise uh, when I had the lap band surgery. So there you go. Um, I'm doing great. <laughs> so I'll see you guys on, your, on my next post, okay? Take care. Bye-bye.